We have a mental health challenge. We know that 60% of our gun deaths here in Virginia are suicides. So again, it's our argument to invest in, in mental health. And then I think also that idea of extreme risk protection orders. Extreme risk protection, right? This isn't, every, this isn't taking people's guns away. It's protecting that Second Amendment in a different way by making sure that we're, we're keeping guns out of the hands of folks who do harm to themselves or others. That's the crisis. It's not just Americans owning guns. It's folks killing each other, hurting each other. And that's, that's what's important. So again, it's common sense. And, and the thing is, so many Republicans understand and, and acknowledge it. Now, nobody wants that slippery slope where it ends up where all guns are taken away from people. That's not the desire. That's not the goal. And in fact, in Ronald Reagan's legislation that got machine guns off the streets, it didn't end up with everybody losing their guns. Right? So it's about making those common sense next steps to keep our kids safe, to keep our public buildings safe, to keep our communities safe. And at the same time, allow us to come out here and shoot some skate. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. You can tell I'm a college professor. I'm just like, what questions do you have? <laughs> well, you've always got one person that's come up with a smart, smart aleck remark. Um, I agree with Donald Trump. I have never taken the pregnancy test. Never in my whole life. And I've never been pregnant. So this is positive proof that if you don't take the test, you won't get the virus. <laughs> oh, man. I, I think, you know, that, that does take us to this coronavirus pandemic um, and where the president is with that. And I think that um, we do have a real moment that we're in as a nation. And I think that over 210,000 people have died, over 7.5 million people have had this virus. And I think it's so important as health professionals. I work in the coronavirus unit at the University of Virginia, so... I've seen 25-year-olds really sick and needing a lot of oxygen just to get through the night. I've seen 85-year-olds doing just fine. It does not, it's not about who you are or what background you bring to it. This virus just affects different people different ways. And yes, if you have more chronic medical conditions, you're more likely to have a bad outcome. But I think that there's, there seems to be some misunderstanding of the science of how this virus is working uh, for some of the folks who are leading in Washington. Um, if we're going to get through this, and, and again, Twin crises. We've got the economic crisis. We've got the health crisis. If we're going to get through this, we've got to get the health crisis under control. We've got to make sure that the levels of virus spreading are much lower. We've got to make sure that we're in front of that, that we're testing adequately, that we're getting our kids back in school safely. And we can't breeze past that word safely. It's a lot of work that goes into safely. <laughs> and so that's where I say, listen, you've got to listen to the science on this. And not just, you know, give a passing nod at the science. It's evolving. We're learning every single day, but you've got to let that be our guide as we get through this crisis. Because otherwise, we're going to be dealing with this. We already know we're going to be dealing with coronavirus for a while. We can't just act like it doesn't exist. We have to really wrap our arms around it. So, But, um, yeah, it, it's important to take the test. <laughs> That's what I'll say. <laughs> That's what I'll say. <laughs> Well, listen, Carter promised me I can shoot some more. So, so if you don't have any more questions for me, we can just mill around and continue the conversation. But thanks for coming out this morning. Um, and it's just, this is, this is how democracy happens. This is how we move this one day at a time, one group at a time, one election at a time. And it's just making sure that we're having the right conversations with everybody. We're inclusive. We're saying, hey, this is everybody's democracy. Everybody in this district, let's bring them in. Let's have these conversations. And let's get this done together. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.